Phil Goff says the controversy over the alleged sex scandal surrounding Darren Hughes makes it impossible for a star MP to do his job. So Darren Hughes has been stood down, and this is a day after his boss was saying he could stay. Will the politics rather than the police dictate his survival? Joining me to discuss this, former MP John Tamaheri, who's faced the gauntlet of accusations himself. Former Labour Party President Mike Williams, he knows the calculations the current bosses will be making right now. And from Otago University's Department of Politics, Dr Bryce Edwards, who's in Dunedin. Mike Williams, does it matter what happens in terms of the investigation? It does. I think... There's a key turning point about to happen. Um, the police have got to make a decision as to whether they lay charges or not. At that point, I think Phil Goff and Darren Hughes have got another very, very difficult decision mm. to make. Bryce Edwards, has the damage been done already, though? It has, and so there's a significant chance that he'll have to go. I mean, um, we saw with Richard Worth, we didn't hang around and wait for um, the police to you know, finish their investigations. And when they did, um, they found there was no um, case to answer necessarily, but he was gone. Yeah. And I think the same thing is likely to happen in this situation. Difficult position with MP John Tumahiri. I mean, you've been there, mm. you've had things mm. thrown at you, which you denied, but the, mm. the weight of it, the atmosphere, can be corrosive. Oh, no, it takes you out. And uh, um, here's the problem. Yeah, well, here's the difficulty. Um, when you're a minister, it's different. That's why Worth went. This bloke's in opposition. <clears throat> so, he's, so that's why I think Goff gave him a bit more time. Uh, the, the problem Goff and King have got is King actually was in the House with him at the time, right? Her House got busted as a, as the, uh, a deputy leader of the opposition. Outrageous, really. So, so the problems you've got um, for, for Darren, regardless of this, is... My heart goes out to his family. He's got four siblings. He's got a mother and a father. They're in a tight little community to live in. All hell's breaking loose there. Okay? So, so regardless of the, the good or the bad of this, um, there's a lot of damage being done right now. Mm. She look at the political uh, calculation, Mike. Uh, there's Phil Goff. They've known for two weeks. This is an alleged yeah. uh, sex incident involving the deputy leader's home. What were they thinking trying to sit on it? Well, I, I think one thing you'd have to say, there's a bit of naivety going on there. Um, mm. all, uh, Wellington is a very small town. It's a provincial city that happens to be the capital. There's a huge amount of gossip. However, it's very difficult to know what else Phil Goff would do because if, as he said, um, he actually makes a statement, he compromises the investigation and can be accused of... Um, of that wrongdoing. So what does he do? He's between the devil and the deep blue sea and ultimately it came out as it would. Now the real challenge is how he handles it now and as I said he's going to make a very very difficult decision to make in a couple of weeks time. Right. But I would point out Mark that for all the, the crap that was thrown at John Tamahiri when I was president not one of those allegations was ever proven and yet John was finished. But then you look at Taito Philip Field who the party decided to keep on died by, well, the party died by death of a thousand cuts. Well, again, you see, but I think the point is that this innocent till proven guilty applies to you and me, but not politicians. No, that's right. Does it matter? Is it the nature? I mean, there is a salaciousness, if you like, you look yeah, at this. That, and, and, and you go back, I mean, is this any different looking at Shane and the watching porn on the taxpayer? Is it the nature of the allegations that elevate it? Oh, yes. There's, there's an extra frisson there for the press. If you remember, there was that element in the David Benson Pope allegation as well, which gave it extra legs. So this has got more mm. legs than the normal kind of mm. Dover Samuels, David Benson Pope, John Tamahiri kind of thing. Bryce Edwards, has this done Phil Goff damage? Absolutely. Yeah. I think his um, response has been quite astoundingly bad. Yeah. Um, I mean, you, you're right in the sense that it was difficult for him to know what to do, but he should have advised yeah. Darren Hughes to come straight out, yeah. make a statement and fight the allegations so. publicly if he felt so strongly yeah. about them. And so it was bad advice to sit on the story. Yeah. It was like being a... I guess he was a possum in the headlights. Yeah. John Tamahiri, look, you like Darren Hughes. Most people at Parliament, mm. to be honest, like Darren Hughes, both sides of the House. Yeah. He we weighing up his future tonight. He's going to have to decide to go. He's top bloke. Okay. Um, he he was a great New Zealander. Is a great New Zealander, and had a great contribution to make. Um, if he was a tortured soul over his sexuality and so on and so forth, so be it. But you know, in the Labour Party, that's not an issue. Your sexuality is not an issue in the Labour Party. Uh, God bless him. And um, so so I really tonight I feel for for Daryl. 
for, for Darren and, uh, and his family. But the problem you've got, you see, is um, his boss didn't stand him down straight away and should have. Okay, he should have been stood down straight away because the party is six months out from an election. Mm. There's lots of things that they've got to do. Look, we've got the worst possible debt situation the country's had. We've got some of the worst possible um, um, employment issues. We've got gouging going on in power. All the rest of it. And this it's is tailor, in the headlines. It's mm. tailor-made for the opposition. They've been crowded out by the disasters, which have handed key an outstanding um, um, opportunity to just crowd everything out. Mike, well, we don't know all the facts yet, but I suppose well, one of the things it does raise... Yeah, I'm going to disagree there, because I, I don't think Phil Goff necessarily did the wrong thing. I think his point about if you come out right straight away, you're going to compromise the investigation is an important one. But I do think, as I said at the beginning, there's a naivety that this isn't going to leak out at some point. Mm. And then you look at there's the age issue. You've got an MP who's 33 and that the other guy is 18. There's the whole, is this abuse of power? Is all those mm. sort of things get raised. We don't know the facts of the situation. I only, only know what I've read in the press and it's been all no, over the good. press. It's not, a good it's not a good look, no. Bryce Edwards, you're looking at this. How is it going to play down, do you think, over the next couple of days? How long could Darren Hughes hold out, for instance? Well, I think if he does manage to hold out and hang into power, um, the best he can hope for is a fast police investigation and uh, the police to come out and clearly say that this complaint is vexatious. I mean, there's a chance they could do that, in which case he might be totally cleared. But, I mean, uh, unless they do that, I think he's done for. I think he really is likely to um, maybe not necessarily resign, but the compromise will probably be something like he announces he won't be standing again at the next election. OK, we're running out of time. If he does step down, can this correct... Can he make a comeback? Can he go away? He's a young for six years, so yeah, he come I, back? I'd say in the fullness of time, but I think the point John made is that we're six months out from an election. Phil Goff's got one shot at this. He's got to tidy this up quick, really and I'm quick. pretty confident he will. Does he put his job under threat, his handling? No, I don't think so, because there's no alternative, Who, and uh, otherwise he's doing a good job. OK. <laughs> Bryce Edwards, John Tamahiri, Mike Williams, we thank you all for your time tonight. We will watch this story as it progresses.